Alright, today we're going to go ahead and replace the tube in this 16 inch bike tire for this bike trailer. So it's pretty flat and that needs to be replaced. So we're going to do it today. Okay, you can see I pulled this edge of the tire off over here. Continue to run that around. And just to run the entire tire so we can better access it. You know how I should have done before. We'll just pull the tire off. It's always easier to do that. You can pull the tire off. It's easier. This is a quick release pin underneath for this tire. And uh, just pull this off like this. Okay, now we can see it. Okay, so you can see I pulled off the edge here. We'll wrap this around the tire. Okay, let's continue to flop that around the tire here. Tire. This is a great practice doing it one-handed. It really is a good way to test your technique, I guess, but there we go. So we want it completely off the rim. Now the entire tire is off, it's just this one lip. See, now that this lip is off, we can pull. We'll find out where our our thread is for the tire and we'll pull it through. See that? Now we just pull the thing out. See, there we go, see? Okay, there it is. And that just pulls that tube and tire through. And uh, that's all it is. If we wanted to now, we can go through and actually find where the hole was. And we could do that, we could fill this with air. And then we put that underneath some water, put some soap on it, rub the soap over the top of it, and you would actually see a little small bubbles where that air would be leaking, depending on how fast that leak was. The faster the leak, the more the bubbles you'd see. But in this case, so we've had this tube for a long time. Sometimes it's just better just to go ahead and replace it when it gets to this point. And then, uh, so now we'll do the reverse. We'll just put the new tube in there and reverse it. All right, so I've got the new uh, tire tube here, 16 inches. You can see the, uh, the type of tire you've got. You can look quickly on here and you'll find um, the diameter of the tire. You can see it says on this one, where is it? Oh, here it is, 16 inches. There it is. So you can see the 16, 1.75. Just find a tire that matches that and then it uh, should be good. So here we go. This is the tire we want. Hopefully this fits. Okay. There's a 16 and a half. Yeah, and it says it's for a 1.75. That's what the box says. So I'm looking at looking at this 1.16 inches by 1.75 and 2.25. So the tubes are flexible, depending upon what you're trying to do. So we're, we'll take off the cap of this uh, tube. I'm going to put this on here. Okay. So we're going to go through here, in here, and then. Uh, one second, okay. So I'll put this, I really want to put this one through first because that way it, um, that way it, uh, it's stuck there. We don't want it to shift around a lot. So see it come through. See, there's the first one, okay. Now, I don't want, the one thing I gotta be careful about when I put this tube on is I don't want it to twist. So I make sure I put it flat against the end of the tire. That's what I'm trying to do. So I just push it against the end of the tire flat. See? And when it expands, as I blow it up, it will fill the gap. 
between the tire and the rim, okay? But the fix is I don't want it to get bunched up or to have it um, get twisted inside here. Otherwise, it might pop prematurely or there might be another problem. So, so I go all the way around with the tire like that, see? Okay, now, now we have to flip this part of the rim back on, part of the tire back onto the rim. So this is the metal piece I talked about earlier that runs around this. That's what keeps tension on it. And you have to really use some leverage to get it to do it. So I just pop it over like this. We'll pop it on the side. I don't think it really matters that much. If I pop it here, so you can pop it over the top. And before I really go further, I'm going to go ahead and put that cab back on because I don't want to lose my my uh, my tube there. So we'll just push it back around. And usually you can do this by hand, all, most of the way around, and then you're going to have to uh, do the rest with leverage, some sort of lever or some kind. Of, okay. And this one actually looks like I can do it without it, but. So just take this here and just kind of use it to flop it over. Just be careful not to puncture the tube. Okay, and now we're all done. So let's go ahead and fill this up, and then uh, I'll pull this back through. And we'll see how it how it does. So if you haven't flipped the tire before, this is pretty straightforward too. You just uh, unscrew the cap, right? And then you put this on here. You make sure you get a good. I hold it like this. Put it on there, and then you go ahead and flip it, and that locks in position allows it to put air in. So then go ahead and pump it. So you can hear it. It just starts to move itself around. Kind of just let it move itself around there. Kind of help it kind of situate itself. You feel like it's getting tougher there. Okay. All right, it's good. Okay, keep going. Okay, keep going. Yeah, that feels pretty tight. Okay, that's good. Remember these small tires, these 16 inches, don't take a ton of air because they're so small. Okay, so we're going to put the cap back on. And now I'll put this back on the, the uh, bike trailer. Let's see. So if we the bike okay, and we'll put our pin back in that locks the axle into the spot. Kind of hard to see this part, I guess, but it's okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, there it is. So it's back in. Okay, so we'll discard this, recycle, whatever we decide to do with it, and uh, that one's fixed. Thanks for watching.